Hello and welcome to the Cerner Power Chart e-learning video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a work list and where to find your patients. To access the doctor's work list, you need to click on the button in the toolbar at the top of your screen. If you cannot see the doctor's work list button here, you may need to click on the drop down arrows to select from the list. On my screen, the doctor's work list is available here, so I'm going to click on this button to access it. Initially, when we enter the doctor's work list, there will be no information there. So we need to customize our list to be able to view our patient details. To do this, we first need to click on the list drop down and then go to patient list and click on list maintenance. If the list we require is in the available list column, we can highlight this and click on add and put it into the active list column. Clicking on OK will then add that to our selection. If nothing is available, we then need to click on the new button. We will now start creating our filters for our list. I need to click on location and then click on next. And then from the location drop down, I will then pick the site I'm looking for. So for this instance, I'm looking for Royal Blackburn Teaching Hospitals. So I will expand that. I'm looking for level three, so I will expand that. And I am looking for ward C14A. I simply click in the square to select that ward. The next thing I'm going to do is set my discharge criteria. I click in the box here that says discharge criteria and then select the setting that says only display patients that have not yet been discharged. I now click on finish to set those filters. My list is now in the available list. To add this to my active list, I just need to highlight this, click on add, and it moves over into the active list column. I now click on OK. Going back to my select list drop down and going back to my patient list, I can now see the list I have created. Clicking on this will display that ward details. We now need to activate the clinical data for the patients that we are caring for. To do this, we need to click on the Establish Relationships button to the right of our screen. We now would select the patients that we are caring for. and click Submit. A relationship has now been established with these selected patients and we can now view their clinical details. The columns on the screen can be configured by clicking on the hamburger icon on the right of the screen and clicking on the Layout Configuration tab. Columns can now be clicked to be added or removed as required. Once selected or deselected, click apply and the column view will update as selected. The width of a column can be changed by highlighting the top and dragging as required. And clicking on the headings will also sort those columns into alphabetical order. To enter the patient record, you simply need to click on the patient's name. Thank you for watching this e-learning video. Further Cerner EPR videos are available on our YouTube channel.